Well, great year, you know, start to finish really um, kind of created back in the summer and, and uh, uh, kids really bought into work ethic and you know, some of the changes we made just with our, uh, you know, with uh, Tremaine helping us out there with the speed enhancement and, and uh, agility work and just overall intensity level I thought was great. Our attendance was great in the summer. Um, and of course, you know, you look at, at the records we set offensively and Really, you know, it didn't show up on the record book, but our defense had probably the best year since I've been here statistically, too. And uh, you know, the kids, I just it goes back to total buy-in from the beginning, and uh, you know, especially with that senior class. Uh, we, we really were concerned coming in about the leadership void from the year before, and I uh, really answered that. You know, I think the, the way they matured uh, from start to finish is, is something that I'm going to be – forever proud of as a coach. Uh, I hope they, they understand how much they should be proud of themselves. But, um, you know, I think I think we accomplished a lot. You know, we fell short of our, our ultimate goal, which is to win a state championship. But, you know, th those goals are, are out there for a reason, something to strive for. But uh, that was a great football team that we lost to. They were the state champions. And our kids have nothing to be ashamed of. And you know, we play them as tough as anybody did. So, um, you know, did they max out on their effort? That's really my goal uh, as a coach, and, and I believe we did. You know, did we make some mistakes along the way that some things we could have corrected and done better? And you know, maybe if we play the perfect game against them, uh, have a better shot of beating them. But uh, yeah, probably. But uh, as far as the effort level is concerned and the buy-in, I thought uh, you know, those those kids maxed out about as as well as any team I can remember. Our senior, this is a special class. They're going to rank right up there, uh, you know, with, with the, the best as far as I'm concerned. And, and why, you know, I, I think when you look at where they started out, you know, I'll, I'll go back to when they were sophomores. Um, and they, they were at times a real, real challenge to coach, to be honest, because they didn't always buy in. And, uh, you know, I think they did for the most part. But I, I think there was always those questions, you know, uh, you know, why are we doing this? And maybe they didn't always verbalize it, but you could get it from body language and uh, what have you. But, but uh, this year, uh, total, I'd say it goes back to last year, really. I think the guidance of the year before kind of helped shape them, uh, those, that group that we lost, you know, in, in 2011. Uh, but, you know, coming in here and having to be the guys that, that lead us, I thought that, uh, you know, it took them a minute to, to figure out how to get that done. But... Uh, by you know start to finish when you start looking at measuring that as a group I think this group achieved more um, with with that you know just ultimately getting everything they could out of themselves more than any group I've ever had probably because they had a lot more to overcome you know as far as and it wasn't athleticism it was really attitude type things and and uh, I think to a man we had every single one of them that last game you know just completely bought in and, and you walk off the field spent, you know, and I, I look at, you know, for instance, Troy Cron taking some of the hits that he did in that, in that game uh, and getting up and getting back in and, and just going. Uh, that kid has a lot to be proud of. You know, Brian Olson, uh, four sacks against arguably the best quarterback we saw this year and, and maybe, you know, in the years that we've been here. Um, you know, that, that's tremendous. The effort that he, he played with um, is something I, I don't know. If early on he really got that, I think by the end of the year he did, and that's that's what's special, you know. And I, I, they're always going to hold a place, great place for me, just from that standpoint. No, they didn't win a state championship, but, but that that doesn't matter. I mean, there's only six teams that do that every year. Uh, they lost to the state champions and pushed them to the limit, uh, and that, that's that's something that they'll always be, I can always be proud of. No, we, we don't. The, the cupboard's not bare. There's, there's no question. I mean, we're losing some great seniors, um, you know, uh, from a leadership standpoint as well as athleticism. I think even more so athleticism. Uh, we're replacing a lot of people that have played a lot of football, uh, so that's always a challenge. Uh, but we have a, a very good nucleus coming back, and I think uh, you know, a lot of our leadership came really from the junior class a lot of times this year, especially early on. I, th I thought those guys 
kind of had to step up and, and uh, fill that, that role a little bit more than maybe years past. So they have that experience. Um, you know, our, 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 uh, the big question for next year is, you know, how can we replace those seniors, which it always is, and, and a good group there. But um, also, you know, I, I just I go back to really that cold water game, and, and I think, uh, you know, their coach said it, um, and it's something we're definitely going to talk about. Uh, he, he said you know, publicly that he thought they were a little bigger, faster, and stronger than our kids. Um, that is a challenge to our kids to see if we can, you know, there's things we can take, take care of, obviously, with that. Uh, speed and, and uh, strength are two of which you can improve on. Uh, maybe speed not as much, but, but you can. Um, you know, so our, our goal is going to be to try to close that gap. Because uh, honestly, the, if we're going to go to the next level, that's what it's going to take. It's also going to take tremendous leadership, uh, some guys stepping up and filling roles and, and uh, filling shoes that, from some pretty good people. Um, but I think the people are there to get it done. There's no question that we've got a great junior class and, and a really small but, but good sophomore class and some good freshmen uh, you know, are going to be sophomores now that they're going to have to you know, step up and, and kind of take the mantle. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2012 Covington Buccaneers.